Now we're back to learning GIMP and this time I'm going to show you the jigsaw effect. Let me go over the basic steps that you need. I've got a simple image and below it is a white background. I create a new layer, let me call it jigsaw. For now it's white. It's on top and it's active and now I go to filters, render, pattern and you should find the jigsaw there. I believe by default it's 5x5 five five or 4x4, four four, something like this. Change it if you want to. For the bevel, I want to push it to the max so that the outline is very strong. And for the jigsaw style, I've used curved. Otherwise, your individual puzzle pieces, they will have straight lines. And if you have them curved, it looks a little bit more natural. The layer is active, then I go to edit and click on copy. So the jigsaw is now copied. I want to put this layer now below the original. Let me use this function down here. Then I right click on my photo layer. I add a layer mask, it's white. I select the layer mask, so it's active in the layers menu. And then I go to edit and paste. It's a floating object for now. But you can click right down here at this anchor tool. And this is going to basically place it on top of the layer mask. In my case, it was moved around a little bit. So let me correct that. And I want to scale it up. You can use the scale tool, left click on it and then reposition and rescale it a little bit. Because I've done so, my jigsaw layer in the background is not aligned with it anymore, so let me delete it. But now we are where we want to be. If you want to have a black background, you can just use the paint bucket tool on your background layer. Use the black foreground color, click on it and you're good. Now let us go to the step that you need to select these individual puzzle pieces. You have to be on the layer mask and then you can use a selection tool. I use fuzzy select. Keep the defaults and then left click on one. You won't see anything for now, but it's still selection. Go to the photo layer and then go to edit and cut. And this should do it. It's still saved in the clipboard. So you can paste it afterwards with Ctrl V or go to edit and paste. It's a floating element. Let me put it on a new layer by clicking on this icon down here. And now I can move it around with the move tool and rotate it. So left click on it with the rotate tool. What I like to do is to also give it a drop shadow. So this new layer, this single Individual puzzle piece layer is active. I go to filters, light and shadow, drop shadow. Let me go up with the opacity. By the way, the previous checked so that I can see it in real time. I want to unlink X and Y for the position horizontally and vertically. And I want to go down with the blur radius to make it a very, very harsh drop shadow. Maybe something like this. So let us go over this once more. I am on a layer mask and then I use the fuzzy select tool, click on a puzzle piece, I switch to the photo and then I go to edit and cut. Or I could also press Ctrl X. I paste it afterwards with Ctrl V and I click on new layer. Now I can move it around with the move tool. I can rotate it with the rotate tool. And I want to give it a drop shadow. It's a good idea to just go to filters and repeat drop shadow so that it has the same values as the first one. That way you have a little bit of consistency in your image. 
And this is basically the process that you can use. Just repeat it time and time again. One additional tip, I found a pattern that's inbuilt. So you can use the bucket fill tool, it's called corkboard. You'll find it right there under pattern fill and you can add it to your background layer. So it gives you this fill, it looks somewhat fine for this jigsaw puzzle. So maybe it's a good idea to use that if you want to. But this in general is the process that I use to create this jigsaw puzzle effect in game. I hope this video was helpful, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.